So let's work a problem dealing with linear combinations of vectors. So in this first example, we're going to work with the vector x1, x2, and x3. So each of these vectors is a length 3 vector. And what we're going to ask ourselves is the vector b, which is negative 7, negative 15, and 6, is b a linear combination of x1, x2, and x3? Mathematically, that means is it possible to write b as a weighted linear combination of the vectors x1, x2, and x3? So in other words, can I find some numbers, alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3, such that when I weight each vector, x1, x2, and x3, and add them up, can I get b out of this? So this is kind of the vector formulation of the equation that we're trying to solve. In terms of the augmented matrix, that's pretty easy to do. I just write down x1 as the first column, x2 as the sex second column, x3 as the third column, and then the unknowns, or what I'm trying to solve for, on the right side of the equation, a negative 7, negative 15, and 6. This is what the right side of the equation is equal to, the b vector. Is it possible to solve this augmented matrix for alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3? So that's our question. If I do row operations, and for this particular example, we're not going to do all the row operations. I've got plenty of other videos where we go through all the details of that. But if we do row operations on this augmented matrix, we end up with this matrix. So after a variety of steps, you end up with this row-reduced echelon form matrix. And from this matrix right here, it's very easy to see what the solution is. Just looking at it by inspection, we see that alpha 1 is equal to 2. From this second row, we see that alpha 2 is equal to a negative 3. And from the final row, it's easy to see that alpha 3 is equal to 1. So these are the numbers that make this equation true. So yes, it is possible to write b as a linear combination of the vectors x1, x2, and x3. So b is a linear combination of these vectors. In fact, we just solved and we figured out that you can write b exactly this way in terms of x1, x2, and x3 by using the coefficients 2, negative 3, and 1. Another way of saying this, mathematically, is that b is in the span of x1, x2, and x3. So another way of saying that b is a linear combination of these vectors is to say that b is in the span of the set of these vectors, because the definition of a span of vectors is a set that is the linear combination of all vectors. So this quantity right here, the span of x1, x2, and x3, this itself is a set that contains all linear combinations of x1, x2, and x3. We just figured out that b is a particular linear combination of x1, x2, and x3. So b is in this set. That's another way of saying b is a linear combination of x1, x2, and x3. In the next video, we'll work, work another example where we look at a linear combination of vectors. And in this next example, we'll figure out that we cannot write b as a linear combination. So go ahead and watch that next video if you have some time.